Hi, I'm gardening expert Michael Perry and I'm here at Denman where they hold a range of interesting cookery and lifestyle courses. When I was 15 years old I was actually a member of the WI market with my grandma so it's great that I'm now involved with the WI many years later. I'm here to show you a range of interesting how-to videos on how to get the best out of your garden and outdoor space. So first up we're going to plant an all year round evergreen container. Many people find containers high maintenance and a lot of work and of course if you're planting annuals into your containers then you will have to keep deadheading and do that maintenance. But how about using a range of evergreen shrubs in order to give you colour all year round? It really is that easy. We're using a high quality compost here so I always recommend using the highest quality compost that you can afford. It simply doesn't make sense to buy good quality plants and then plant them into a poor medium. Your plants need that goodness, all the vitamins, minerals and moisture control that is included in high quality composts. I'm going to mix in a couple of components though to really help you get the best out of your plants. This is a controlled release fertilizer and you mix this in at a rate of one to two teaspoons per 10 liters of compost and it's really really easy to mix in. You do that at the very start of your planting and what that will give you is extra potash which gives you bigger plants with more flowers but also extra nitrogen which will mean that your plants are more leafy, more healthy and have a bit more of a high resolution glow as well. We're also going to mix in some moisture retaining gels. Now this is almost like the best kept secret of the gardening world. This is the way that you can water your containers a lot less. So we're going to mix that in again at a rate of two teaspoons per 10 litres of compost. And we're going to mix that straight into the soil as so. And then mix that in with your hands. Remember that we've added drainage to the very base of this container too in order to stop the water running out too quickly but also to make sure that the pot doesn't get waterlogged as well. I would recommend using a container that's at least 40 centimetres in diameter because then you're getting a bigger volume of compost and the more compost you have the longer the moisture is going to stay locked into there. A lot of people grow very small containers which dry out very quickly. They blow around the garden because they haven't got that weight and they're not holding on to that moisture. Now in our all year round container we're using just four different plants so it's going to be a bit of a patchwork because we've chosen a range of different colours and some shrubs that have flowers and some that don't. The first one you may have seen before is actually a smaller version of periwinkle and this is vinca minor and this is a really lovely plant which again is evergreen and has flowers from late spring to summer and we're going to plant that into the edge of the container and allow it to trail over the side as well so that will soften the harsh edge of the terracotta. So we're going to plant that really simple into the container here and we've already brought up the compost to a level where we know that that plant will fit. So this makes planting very, very easy for you. And because we're planting large pots into here, we're not going to dig holes. We're just going to layer up the container. The next plant to put in here, you may have heard of as well. It's a Hebe. And Hebe's are very easy to find in the garden centers and the DIY stores. And they're real, a real top performer in the garden and also in containers. This is a great variety with a lovely ruby red foliage as well and it will have flowers in the summer but more importantly it will keep its leaves most of the year. We're going to plant that into the back of the container here so we're keeping this very simple with a range of textures and flowers and just four different varieties. Sometimes people can overplant their containers and there's there's too much going on but we're trying to keep this a little bit more stylish. The next plant we're going to plant in is right to the front and this is a euonymus. You probably see this in landscaping in parks and gardens and kind of amenity plantings and that gives you a clue to how easy it is to care for. It needs barely any pruning, it's very unfussy about its nutrient needs and watering so we're going to plant that into the front of the container and you can see that's a real golden pop of colour again. So this is the container that's going to look good all year round so this could go at the front of your house and greet visitors to your, to your property. The last plant we're going to put into here is Sarcococca, which is also known as the Christmas box. And this is going to give you interest in the winter as well because the fragrance from the blooms is sweet and honey-like and it's absolutely glorious and you will be, you'll be able to smell it from almost 20 paces. It's a very, very special plant. 
And you can see again, that's giving us a different shape with our shrub container too. Now, we put all our plants into the container. We're need, gonna need to fill in those gaps with fresh compost. So we're gonna just fill those in, make sure there are no air pockets where moisture could collect. So we're just gonna do that very, very quickly. Once your container is planted up, these are all hardy plants, so you can put the container straight outdoors. And the range of plants we've used in this recipe are suitable for sunny position or a partly shaded position as well. And make sure that when you buy your container, you buy frost-proof terracotta too, and it will last for more years too. So remember, we've got that vinca, which we're allowing to trail right over the side here. You'll find that many of these shrubs need minimal pruning as well, so they're gonna look good for many years to come. And then we finish off by a little bit of live plant and flower arranging, just making sure that everything is open, the foliage is intermingled with each other as well because we want this plant, this container to develop as well and to look good all year round. So then you make sure that your container looks good from every angle as well because of course that makes it a lot more versatile. So this is now ready to plant into a sunny position or a partially shaded position too. And that is your all year round special WI container. So if you've been inspired by this planting, then please subscribe to us on YouTube or hop onto the WI website to see the whole range of videos that I've prepared for you.